We are back in Beijing today on another cold but clear day, which we are thankful for in this pollution-plagued city. Today we are meeting with a very happy and thankful family. The family shows us joyful pictures of the moment husband and father Wen Shi Li was released from a prison in central China. In early 2013, BOM shared the story of Wen Shi Li, a Chinese Christian who was in prison for his role as the manager of a bookstore that was raided by police. For this crime, he spent two years in a prison labor camp, working long hours making Christmas lights for exports. <laughs> People who think that China is a free country don't know about China. They don't understand our country. They don't know what is going on here. The government officials do a good job of hiding their persecution of Christians here. Outsiders don't know what's going on. The only people who can really understand what is actually happening here are people like us, who are on the front lines and are suffering for it. We are fighting a spiritual war here. The current government's policy on religion isn't all that different from some of our previous dynasties. Take Emperor Yongjin of the 18th century Qing dynasty, for example, who acknowledged to foreign missionaries that Christianity is a great religion. The problem with your religion, he told them, is that it teaches people to listen to and obey God. If everybody does that, he complained, who will listen to and obey me? So he drove the foreign missionaries out of the country. This shows the problem that still exists today between government and Christianity in China. The communists are also afraid that the influence of religion will grow more powerful than their influence. The Voice of the Martyrs has been supporting Wen Shi Li's family throughout his imprisonment, as well as encouraging people to pray for him. In spite of all he's been through, Wen Shi Li intends to continue his bookstore ministry. Is there freedom to worship God in China? There is, if you let the government dictate how and when you can do it, and what you can share with others. As these brothers and sisters show us, those who choose to worship the God of the Bible above all else will pay a price. But these believers also show us that no matter what the price, they will gladly give all to worship the God who is sovereign over all.